Have you guys ever wondered how much a barber really makes? I used to charge $35 for a haircut, $65 for a haircut, $125, all the way up to $175. Now charging $250 to $300 for a haircut. Today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what really goes on as a barber making 25K a month. And I'm gonna show you guys how much a barber really actually makes in a day. The process will surprise you as I've only been in the game since 2020. So, let's get to it. I start my day waking up at 5 a.m. on the dot, getting first thing right, make my bed, setting the tone right for the day. It's actually Ramadan, which means I'll be cutting hair whilst I'm doing a dry fast for 14 hours. So, I make a purification process, cleaning my mind, my body, my soul before the morning prayer. I head into the studio and grab my egg, tuna, avocado, salad, breakfast that I made last night some raw milk and some sparkling mineral water. I sit down with my bro and starting our fast and um, <laughs> this kid is always a fun guy to be around. First prayer is at 5.57 and during this prayer, five times a day, I'm asking the creator of the universe to make me stronger, make me better, put me on the right path and keep me pushing on that right path. I think it's allowed me to make decisions throughout the day to be based on what's right and not just what my desires wanted. Straight away, I get ready to do an intense workout. Man, it was cold, but we had to get the task done regardless of how we feel. One of the things that I learned about productivity in your day was a technique called front loading. Placing all the hardest tasks as the first priority and completing your tasks down that difficulty severity list. As barbers, we tend to always try to dust things that are crucial to our success to the side and procrastinate on it. If you start your day with the hardest task, climbing up that hill, pushing up, and as you move down that hill, through the day it becomes easier and you gain more momentum towards your day. Things such as having a gritty workout, going for a run, hitting the bag, and taking a cold shower is going to push you 1% out of your comfort zone every single day. And man, after a cold shower, it's like this natural energy rushing through you. You're just ready to take on the day. And after the shower, I set up the studio, turning all the lights, open those curtains for those beautiful sun rays to shine in. Man, do you feel it? Yeah, I feel those sun rays too. First work session is working on my students, providing them feedback on their content, putting out in-depth haircut tutorials and replying to questions that my students have asked. My guys have been going crazy. Mustafa hit 10K revenue last month, Juan hit 100K views, and even starting out barbers hitting their first 25K views on a video. It's 9 a.m. and my first client comes in. My guy's name was Arias. He wanted a mid taper with a texture blowout. Then I filmed some haircut tutorials for my students because every week I add more to the mentorship. It's a roadmap community, meaning that it's only gonna get better. This cut was 250 and paid through tap. My next client was Noah. He actually really liked the length that he had on the top, but wanted more shape because it was just so bulky on the side. So we created more shape for him and this cut was 250 paid through tap. These boys were super chill and I really enjoyed cutting them. That was the second cut of the day and my next client is here for his 11 a.m. appointment. My guy here was actually patiently waiting for me. As I get my client in, I got my mentorship operator working in the room with me. My client's name was Jordan and it was actually my first time cutting Jordan. He actually found me on Instagram and TikTok. He's got a wedding coming up and he said his mullet was actually really hard to style because it was so bulky. So I layer it with some point cutting to get some nice texture so then it doesn't look so flat and then it can create a bit of volume as well. As you can see, I was in the zone with the sheer work. <laughs> I did my final finishing touches, dusted him off, cleaned him up, showed him the finished product. This cut was $250 paid through tap. After that, I sent him on his way and we actually finished just on time at exactly 12. I was actually checking where my next client was at and cause I texted him and there was literally no reply. And I was like, man, where is this guy? So I had to cancel his appointment because he didn't show up. So I charged him a cancellation fee of $125. Placing that cancellation fee 
every time something like this does happen because it doesn't happen too much but when it does happen it it is really nice to have it there as a safety net even though i had more clients later on keeping a clean workspace throughout the day allows me to feel organized and overall maximizes my productivity for when i do like other tasks in between haircuts and in between clients me and my operator brainstorm ideas for the community and how we can break down to scale this mentorship then i set up the studio to do a live webinar closing all the curtains making sure the lighting is optimized as you can see i was hyped to go live and talk with other hungry barbers in this live i was helping other barbers by reviewing their social media profiles reviewing their haircuts their content and pointing out areas where they can improve on to get viral videos and attract clientele i try to help out as much people as i can but during these lives i can only provide such surface level advice that's where I open up the mentorship and man look how hyped I was I was feeling that good energy throughout the whole live and it's 2 p.m. and I got my fourth client coming in my guy's name was Jodeci and bro my guy was looking rough look how long his hair is it's been four months since I cut him and during this time he told me that he's been boxing and the guy has a fight coming up that's crazy as you guys know, I'm a fighter as well and I do Muay Thai, competed four times, four wins, zero losses. And the thing about when you charge a higher price point is that you actually attract like-minded individuals. And boom, my man's got that glow back again for his debut fight. This cut was 300 paid through transfer. It's 3 p.m. now and I sent my guy on his way, waving goodbye again. It's 3 p.m. and I need to make my second prayer of the day, which is called Asa prayer. I clean the studio once again so I can have a clean spot to pray where I can take a moment to connect with God. Making your five prayers a day, especially when you're working and cutting, was always a struggle for me. Saying you'll do it later or forgetting about it or even neglecting it because you have to do more important work. However, I actually found my productivity increased and I felt like I had more time when I fulfilled my daily five prayers. Five times a day may seem a lot and I totally thought this too when I reverted to Islam. One time a day was like, damn, you're consistent, bro. But five times a day was, pff, I was like, no way. But when you believe in God, you believe that God knows what's best for humans, right? Because God created us, right? He would know what's best for his creation. So I did another client for the day. My guy Lucky is actually a monthly regular and he gets a slight burst fade on the side with a textured mullet. Showed my bro the cut and let me know what you guys think. Do you reckon I blessed him? Well, my guy was definitely rocking with the cut and I think it came out looking fire. And boom, another 250 through bank transfer. I finished the day at 5 p.m. Close up the studio, close the blinds, close the curtains, turn off the lights and boom. Consider my day done. We cashed in at the end of the day at $1,425. We had five cuts, one person canceled. And man, as you can see, it was a blessed day. And crazy that this isn't even my highest paying day. From this video, you guys would see the potential of barbering. I remember when I used to make this weekly and I was gassed at you know 1.4 each week. Now making that in a day, has really been mind-blowing actually in no way am i trying to show off or display arrogance but made this video for you guys to shine some light on the potential of this industry i have high hopes for it because it's only going to get better and better each year i believe that in the next three to five years this industry is going to go even higher we've seen what this industry is capable in the past two three years imagine the next three to five so if you're looking to start barbering or even if you're seasoned in the game i put a link down in the description for my mentorship where you can get guidance from me i literally created this mentorship on the things that i wished i knew in starting this journey the things that I should have focused on to save time and also speed up that process to get you successful in this career. So if you guys enjoyed this, like, subscribe and comment down your thoughts on what you guys would like to see from me, what you guys enjoyed in this video and what's some realization that you realized during watching this video. It's been your boy Hakeem. Take it easy guys.